during the conquest of Israel, Joshua and the Israelites made treaties with uh, several of the native peoples of the land of Canaan. And uh, these are peace treaties and, uh, and treaties for mutual help. So when the five kings of the Amorites uh, found out that, uh, that Joshua was doing this and that uh, one of the strongest of these groups, the Gibeonites, uh, had signed a peace treaty with Joshua, uh, they felt threatened. And so they gathered together and they went down to Gibeon in order to have a battle. Now the king of the Gibeonites saw that this was happening and he sent word to Joshua saying that uh, he needed Joshua's help and that, uh, that Joshua and Israel should not forget their servant, the one that they signed the peace treaty with. So Joshua and the people of Israel marched all night to get to the land of Gibeon in time. Now Joshua had prepared his people on the road, so they knew what to expect. But the five kings of the Amorites did not know that Joshua was on his way. And so when Joshua and the army of Israel arrived, they were thrown into confusion. And Joshua uh, and the Israelites battled the kings of the Amorites. And even though they were a large force, uh, the Israelites took the advantage and uh, started to win the battle. But during the day, uh, uh, as the battle was going on, uh, the people could see that the sun was going down and that um, when it came dark, uh, the battle would have to stop. And at that time, uh, the Amorites might be able to reform and come up with some kind of plan to battle the people of Israel. And so Joshua prayed to God to let the sun stand still. And so God listened and performed a miracle. The sun stood still, the moon remained where it was, and the battle was able to be finished. Now I think about this story at a time such as we're in. It feels like we're in the middle of a very long day. As a matter of fact, there's been several times over the last few weeks when I've actually referred to the month that we're in as March, uh, just because of uh, not, um, I guess, not being able to mark time as uh, I have in the past, uh, because it seems like, especially now, uh, thing, one thing kind of flows right into the next, and this feels like we're in the middle of a very long day. I joked and I said, I think it's still March and Monday, um, and that's kind of what it feels like for us sometimes. But the thing is, although this might be a long day, uh, there's still work to be done. The sun may be standing still, so to speak, but the work of God does not stand still. That we still have to continue trying to figure out how to do ministry in this new time, uh, in this new situation. And so behind me, you can see uh, some of that preparation coming together. Um, the um, the band has moved from this side of the church where the um, the baby grand piano is, and it's um, over here now on the um, the right side as you're looking at the congregation. Um, this is an interesting opportunity for us to um, to take this into. Um, a different sort of place than perhaps we were able to, to do before. I'm hoping to provide during our worship service uh, something that is enlivening and life-giving to you uh, during worship. I feel like the worship we've been doing on live stream has been going very well, but I want to continue giving you something that you can feel um, is a worshipful experience. Uh, we don't know what the future has in store for us, we don't know when this long day is going to be over and the battle can be done uh, for now, uh, even if it's going to be picked back up again in the morning. But we need this time uh, to kind of prepare for what's going to come next. What is that going to look like and how is it going to affect our lives? So this is a time of preparation. The sun, so to speak, is standing still and there's work to be done right here and right now. And I pray for all of you at home in your own lives when you feel stuck, uh, when you feel idle, when you feel like it's, um, uh, it's easy to lose patience. Uh, I pray that you continue um, in the faith that you have started, in the faith that you've been nurturing through this time, that you continue to say the Lord's Prayer as you wash your hands, and you think about uh, your neighbors uh, as you put on your mask to go into the grocery store. Thank you for being with me uh, during this time, and God bless you, and have a good day.